Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I am in the session. I'm extremely sorry. I am in the session. How much time is there, sir? Fine, fine, fine. Yes, sir. Everyone, extremely sorry. There was an urgent call. Please forgive me. Extremely sorry. I kept you kept you waiting. Okay. We'll start with the lecture. Anyway, this lecture was very small. We are going to finish the uh, group obstacle race. Just a second, please. Just give me a second. So uh, we are going to see, we have seen a group obstacle race. We are going to finish group obstacle race today. And then we are going to finish the half group task. Very interesting, uh, very, I will say enthusiastic task here. And uh, again, I will uh, ask for your, uh, okay. So most of you have joined and uh, somebody, uh, some of you must have left, okay. So we will start with the lecture. We will start with the session, okay. Uh, yes. So uh, today's session is group obstacle race. It is very interesting uh, task after the uh, progressive group task. All you have to do is uh, do a race against other uh, groups which have been already divided. As I told you, after your screen in, you are divided into slot of 10, 9 or 8 uh, candidates. And there will be four to four, three to four slots will be there. And, uh, you know, uh, you will have to do race against each other. Understand this group obstacle race, very interesting task. And I told you in the uh, group testing GTO, uh, GD, that is group discussion, group planning exercise, progressive group task and group obstacle race are the, four, are the primary uh, tests in which your potential will be evolved out and most of your officer like qualities will be achieved will be assessed by the gto sir in first four tests other tests will be the confirmatory tests so all you should take in the mind that i am going to perform my best in the four, first four tasks at least understand so what is group obstacle race it is as i told you it is the uh, fourth task of GTO test series and the last one in the basic series. As I told you, uh, first GD, GP, PGT, and this group obstacle race. These two tests are very, very, uh, these four tests are the basic series that is preliminary test. Uh, all of your OLQs, most of your OLQs will be assessed from these four tests. Understand? Group is made to compete with each other through a series of six obstacles. So there will be six obstacles. We are going to see which will be those six obstacles. Uh, the group will be like group number one, two, three, and four. And these will be some obstacles. All you have to do is in the racing, you have to cross these obstacles, okay? And do the race against each other. Getting my point? So the group is expected to carry a load made up of rolled up tent. See, a rolled up tent will be given to you. There will be, uh, and it looks like a snake. Hence, this referred as a snake test as well. So a rolled up tent will be given to you like this. A long rolled up tent will be given. And it's, it will be look like a snake, a giant long snake. And that's why, and all the time in the test, you have to carry that snake. That is carry that load. And that's why this test is also called as a snake race. Understood? So the objective of the group is to reach first on finishing line and win the race. So your objective will be to go with the group and reach to the final point of the uh, final point and win this race. So only four group can participate with each other group being assigned separate channel. So uh, you will get separate channel to uh, negotiate these obstacles. Okay, every so you don't have to worry about. Uh, uh, the mixing or intermingling with other uh, candidates of other groups. You will get your separate channel uh, to finish that race. And this is a very high tempo task and group are, all the groups are very excited. It needs a lot of valor, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. So this test is all about your energy, enthusiasm, but the smartness. Understood? So what are the rules here? So uh, have you understood about have you understood about the snake race 
I will tell you the basics again so that you will understand with the rules. Just give me, uh, give me one second here. So, see, uh, see group number group will be group will stand like this. Okay, this is one group. Okay, this is another group. Okay, this is third group, and this is fourth group. Okay, see. Obstacles will be like obstacle number one, obstacle number two, obstacle number three, and uh, four, five, and six. Okay, you will get a separate channel, and you have to, you know, cross these obstacles. Every group will have to cross these obstacles and win the race. Understand? So this is the basic idea, basic outlet of the idea. So I hope this is clear to you. Now, what are the rules here? First rule is once you picked up, once you picked up the snake, the snake cannot touch the ground till the finish of the test. So once you picked up the snake, you cannot put it down on the, uh, you cannot put it down till your race is finished. Understood? Snake cannot be shortened or folded. Understood? This long snake, you cannot make it short or you cannot fold it like this and carry it. Understand? You have to keep it straight every time. Okay? Third point is snake to take some co same course as of the candidate. So whatever is your way of uh, negotiating the obstacle, however you will go, the snake will follow you or you have to carry the snake uh as same as your course understand so while running snake must be held by all the group members and at least three by while negotiating the obstacles so when uh, let's say this is obstacle number one and this is obstacle number two so when you will be in between obstacle one and two and while you will be running here then all you have to everyone should must carry the uh, snake but whenever you are going to negotiate this obstacle at least three members should carry the snake. Minimum three members must have to carry the snake. Understand? So on completing one obstacle, complete team to move to next and not individually. What is the meaning of this? Same as the group rule. Once if you are negotiating this obstacle, unless and until every member have negotiated this obstacle, you cannot start the second obstacle. The group rule, you must have heard in the morning. Same. Color rules are applicable. So if it is red, nobody can touch it. Not you, not the, uh, in this case, a snake. When it is blue, you can touch it, but helping material cannot touch it. And when it is white, you can touch it and helping material can touch it. So for the rule violation, GTO can impose penalties. So if, you, if GTO observe that you have violated any rule, like color rule, if you have touched the red section of any uh, part of the obstacle, then the GTO sir will impose some penalties. Understand? The penalties may be uh, he will stop you and uh, count like five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then you will get a time penalty or you will have to repeat that obstacle for the negotiation. Understood? So these are the rules. If anybody have any problem while understanding this task and the rules, please raise your hand. Otherwise, we will start from, for the next slide. Do you have any problem here? Anybody have any questions? Okay, fine. We will see which, which are the obstacles. Okay, who is it? Surendra. Yes, Surendra. Uh, sir, can the, the snake, it will touch the obstacles? No, no, no. It should not touch the obstacle. Yes, good question. It cannot touch the ground and cannot touch the obstacle. And of course, if, the, if there is a white color and somehow you touched it, it's okay. Okay. But uh, you cannot touch it to the obstacle. Okay. You have to carry it in your hand. Understand this. Okay. Sir, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. There is another question. The, that penalty part once again, I will have to explain. Okay. 
For example, if you have violated any rule, okay, let's say, uh, let's say that uh, only two candidates have carried this neck and others were in negotiating the obstacles. So what is the rule? At least three should carry the load, but uh, what you did, two have carried it. So you have violated the rules. So for the rule violation, you will get some penalties by GTO sir, who is observing you continuously. That penalty could be either he will stop you for a few seconds so that other group, other people will go ahead of you so that this is the penalty for you, right? Or you will have to renegotiate the same obstacle. Understand? Have you understood this part? Penalty is like uh, penalty is like some uh, punishment for you for violating the rules. So have you understood the candidate who asked the question? Ashwarya, have you understood this? Okay, be quick in your replies, everyone. Shalo, we will start with the uh, what are the obstacles and how to negotiate them. Hmm? Shalo, this is the first obstacle. Hmm? Uh, a single ramp like this, the group is expected to climb up the ramp and jump down carrying the load, which must be held by at least, this is three, not four, while crossing it. See, this is, you will start from here and then from this, you have to jump, okay? This is for second group, this is for third group, this is for fourth group. Observe this obstacle properly, carefully. Hmm? Chalo, second obstacle, this is figure of eight. So the group is expected to make a figure of eight through the obstacle. Demonstration for the same is given before starting. So GTO sir first will give tour. See, in every GTO task, GTO sir will give you to, uh, a tour of every obstacle. You don't have to worry about it. So while giving the tour, uh, he uh, he will ask some anybody to demonstrate, anybody wants to demonstrate this figure of eight and you will do you will demonstrate, okay? You can raise your hand and demonstrate there. And load is also expected to make the figure of eight. So what is this figure of eight? See, observe this. You are going to start from here, from the back side, okay? Then climb up from here, then again, this, okay? You will climb here, then go from this, and then you will come out. Understand? So this makes the figure of eight. This makes the figure of eight. And this for the group one, this is this channel is for group two, this channel is for group three, and this channel is for group number four. Hmm? Chalo. Next is a spider web. Simply a group has to simply cross over using web made up of road ropes. So if you are starting from here, you will climb from this and again, go down from this side, okay? Have you understood this? I hope you have. Hmm? See, then a double wall, obstacle number four will be double wall. Two groups are connected by a wooden log and group is expected to walk up the log to cross over. So what you will do is, you will climb up from, climb up from here and then on this wooden uh, block, you will climb again you will walk and then from this side, you will take an exit, okay? So again, this is for channel one for group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. Have you understood this? Okay. Next obstacle is a single wall, which is wall is higher than the double wall and heavier to be sent up by collapsing hand by two candidates and at least two must remain on the wall to pull up other candidates. See, this is this has very uh, huge height, okay? This wall has very huge height, okay? So all you will have to do, two candidates should uh, sit here, okay? And make candidates to climb on the wall, okay? Keeping in mind that minimum three candidates are holding that snake, huh? And then two of, uh, one or two should stand here, okay? And then help other candidates to pass this particular wall. This will be very heighted in the nature. That's why you will have to support each other. Understood? Next is 
obstacle number 6 that is giant slide and personally i i used to fear this a lot okay but that is not that difficult okay it is like a slide and group is to go rise go up rising and narrow steps carrying the load so see uh, these are the narrow steps everyone have to go from the, uh, you, you have to climb over this and this will be a slide this will be a slide and just simply you will just have to slide down understand so you will go for, go up from the here and just simply slide down and the challenging thing is you will have to carry the load okay so it's very difficult for all of group to uh, be together in this wall and uh, shouting the war cry along with it and carrying that uh, snakes minimum in the hand of three candidates and then sliding down it becomes very difficult or i will say very uh, you get fear but of course you are going in armed forces you, you must not fear hmm? so these are the six obstacles i will repeat the obstacles again so obstacle number 1 is single ramp you will have to go from this side and simply jump over here right obstacle number 1 is this obstacle number 2 is you will have to make figure of eight from this you will go then from back side you will climb and then again from back side you will come back and then from this side you will come out and again you will exit from here get it yes we are we are less, we are remained with 10 minutes and because of me i took lot of time of yours okay the spider web right you have, you will be climbing from this side and exiting from this side hmm sure next point double wall you will climb up from this wall then uh, walking on this uh, wooden plank and then you will exit from other side then single long wall single wall you will have to climb and then jump over it i told you how to negotiate it hmm? somebody have texted what is it height of wall will be generally 10 to 12 feet okay minimum 10 feet height is there it depends on the ssb and fe is female candidate and male candidate so for female candidate it have very it has a less height but for male candidate it has like height of 10 feet 9 10 10 to 11 feet okay consider that and this again this is the giant slide you will uh, there will be steps and you will slide down got it sure so what are the tips only these tips i will give from my side be very enthusiastic and keep cheering team members continuously keep cheering team members because this is very high energy and high yielding task all you have to do is keep your tempo at very high but at very Uh, but you will have to be very cautious about the rules understand second is if if you are fit take initiative and help others here your physical fitness matters a lot that's why if you have a natural fitness if you have a good fitness you will automatically tell uh, take initiative and help others it needs a lot of support from team members understand uh, please ask question after the lecture but okay sir at obstacle number 4 if we fell down on wooden slide uh, we get penalty no 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 you don't get penalty you will just single person have to come again and uh, join the group don't worry okay don't worry third point is take responsibilities of snake i will advise see uh, suppose you are standing in the line of first candidate second candidate third candidate in your fourth fifth sixth seven let's say you are eight in your group okay you either be the first candidate or the eighth candidate to support the group first candidate will always have to you know take initiative he will always have to be very he or she will have to be enthusiastic huh and the eighth candidate he have to be uh, very supportive to the group so if you are very good at fitness be the first candidate and if you are you know if you are moderate in the fitness but you can support the group be the eighth candidate and if somehow you cannot secure this position if suppose you are the fourth candidate then at least take the responsibility of this thing hmm? but that's why i say that keep yourself fit and then naturally you will feel that you will lead the team and be the natural leader hmm? things of think of group and not individual team here is team is winning that's why uh, don't be in the rush of climbing every obstacle so just because you are fit and then you know simply crossing it no you have to be very 
be with the team see this entire gto series is designed in such a way that how good you are in the team and how good your leadership skills and how well the lead, uh, the team accepts you as a team leader understood that is why i can i am all i always say this that what happens in the ssb what happens in the gto that gto sir will let you uh, do its certain activities you and he will observe you from the outside understand so think of the group not of the individual be a team member here next is if rule is violated own up and when ask and repeat obstacle if asked so if you violate any rule accept your uh, mistake okay and if uh, they ask you to repeat any obstacle or if they give you the penalty uh, don't uh, you know just simply take the penalty simply take the punishment and repeat the task understood everyone gets tired so don't give up because you will have to shout the war cry which your team will decide every time while negotiating the obstacle and you guys will have to be very energetic very enthusiastic you know i will tell you the thing that aapki energy uske baad mein itni drain ho jayegi like you are uh, in the morning you, just 5 minutes before you saw your charging at 100% and suddenly you say that there is battery low notification in your mobile itna drain ho jati hai hamari energy understand so you have to be very energetic and enthusiastic enthusiastic that's why last three officer like qualities are courage stamina and determination and these three officer like qualities will be at high stake in this group obstacle race getting my point sure so thank you for watching this thank you for being uh, in the lecture please like subscribe and share our youtube as well as our telegram channel and if you have any question for group obstacle race simply ask me we have still 4 minutes and uh, do you guys think that we should finish the half group task because it will take only 15 minutes but hamara half group task khatam ho jayega please raise your hand if you are willing to continue with the lecture for the half group task first answer that okay avinash is ready niket is ready okay so most of you are ready surender is ready yes sharma devi kamini thakur okay fine fine good we will finish half group task it's very simple you will say that sir you didn't have to take any lecture but of course there is formality i'll have to complete everything okay chalo is there any question chalo is there any question please simply unmute kar dijiye question puch lijiye so that we can finish it is there any question is there any question niket you have any question sushant ajay avinash kamini lavina rama devi surendra sushant do you have any question here I guess Niket have any question. Niket have some question. Niket, go ahead with your question. Who is it? Surendra. Yes, Surendra. Can you tell me any simplest word play? Sorry. Simplest word play sentence. एनर्जी सो देर इज नो टाइम रेस्ट्रिक्शन for you uh, as far as your question is concerned okay chalo so i hope uh, you have understood this group obstacle race it was not something it was there was no involvement of law, uh, technicalities so i hope you have understood it properly surender you have again any question chalo okay fine so uh, i just i just end up the lecture and uh, rejoin you with the uh, slides of half group task and we will finish the half group task okay so thank you for uh, being in the lecture just we'll see you i'll see you in minute, in a minute